Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was an absolutely beautiful day and I will show you in my little clip that I'm going to put in. Not just yet though, not just yet. I wanted to tell you something. Remember I had said that I was going to do a granny square afghan? Well, I'm still doing a granny square afghan, but I have something I want to show you. This is the one that I had started and it was puckering is what it was doing in the center and I thought why is it doing that? Why is it puckering? Every time you lay it down it would have a pucker up there. So I decided I would rip out some of it but not all of it. I left some of it as you saw and I decided I would do another one and this one is coming flat. Perfectly flat. This one is not puckering. I can't show you very well, I guess. I don't know. It's not puckering in the middle. And the, what I was doing is I was looking at some other videos and trying to figure out, now what is it that they're doing that I'm not doing? And I came across this one. I don't remember who it was. But she said that every time you start a row, you start the row on the wrong side. And that will keep the edges straight. And that also stopped my puckering. So that's what I've been doing. I've been every time I get to the end of the the row where I connect, I turn it so I'm working on the back on the wrong side. And so every row is turning out very good this time. Well, I also want to show you before we go to that little video. We're going to go to a little video. You're going to get to see Mr. Brown and a few other things with the chickens. You're going to see the chickens too. But when I went out to the chicken house, today with Emily. I was showing her some of the stuff that she needs to know what to do because we are going to be going. Now that I have a new house for Mr. Brown, I feel safer leaving her. But when we went out to the chicken house, I said, wait a minute, I see something in there. And so I went to pick it up and here in the chicken house is this itty bitty, itty bitty egg. It's so little. This is the cap. Tiny, tiny. I know. This is the cap to my milk container and look at it, it fits right in there this is it is so darn cute and so little I think you can see it I hope it's focusing on it it should be it should be but it's itty bitty I haven't cracked it open but I will crack it open to see if there's something in it but I'm not going to do it right now I will wait I will show you when I do that I'll use the GoPro and Jim will probably have to help me so that we can see what I'm doing okay let's go to that video we have beautiful weather today and I want you to see this is Mr. Brown's new little house. I went to my daughter's yesterday and she had this and inside there is, is where she sleeps and this is where she laid her egg today. And Jim put a door in because it didn't have a door so he put this in there for me so that I can close it at night because it, this way she's secure. Shut the little door on the side and then it's got this door over here that I move the stake thing and it closes this up. And this way, if it was rainy and wet, she can still be in this little thing because it's got a lovely roof on it. Close that up and see there's the roof. It's got a nice roof on it. And if it's real windy and rainy bad, she can go inside. It's a cute little house. Very cute. What you doing there, baby? And she's very close to the rest of the birds if she wants to. She can walk. This is their fence. She can walk down through here. And then this is where her fence starts so that she can have all this area. And it's a lot drier. I like it a lot better. Here she comes. You coming? Hello, baby. Where are you going? Huh? You coming to see me? You're doing so good. This makes me very happy. Very happy.
You're How doing fun. so good. Look at you, happy little girl. But yep, this is the this is the cute little house. Oh, Mr. Brown, I'm just gonna open it back up. I have this pole here to help hold the door so that it doesn't close when she wants to go inside. I put some chicken scratch there. Plus her food is inside. And there's more chicken scratch there. She's a spoiled little girl. I was watching, or actually reading, about chickens and their socializing. So, to socialize Mr. Brown, socialize, I've been giving the scratch closer to Mr. Brown's area so they all are there. So they're all sort of eating together. And Mr. Brown is on the other side of the fence eating hers. The only difference is she doesn't have to fight for her food. Hello there, Emma. Get in there, Emma. You're one of the top hens. My buffs are the top hens. And pretty boy, you've got a few nice, real pretty tail. Yes, you do. Look at how pretty you are. Whoa! And that one decides she wants what Mr. Brown had. So she'll go on the other side and help herself. The buffs are a little too heavy to fly up like that. They would love to, but they're a little too heavy. I can open the gate and let them, oops, I'll open the gate and let you out. Here, you girls wanna go? Go ahead, I'll let you go out. You can join, Emma's gonna go, or not, that's not Emma, Emma's over here, oops. There you go, there you are. See ladies, you can finish up what she doesn't want. She had her fill. Welcome to the party. told this other one, hey, that's my Okay, girls, you gotta go back in. It's all gone. Where are you two traveling to? You need to go back. Back. Okay, girls, go back in. Go back in. Back. No, go that way. No, go back in. Go on. I think you've eaten it all. No. You've got to go back in. No, you keep missing the door. And there's Mr. Brown. You're traveling around. Where are you going to go, huh? You're checking out what's in the grassy area. Oh, here's a pop tab. I don't want you to have that. Oh, no.
case you're wondering, her foot's looking way better. I think the bumble has come off on both feet. I was looking at it today and they look, this, they look really good. And they look, they look really good, don't they? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brown. You're so darn cute. I have to go back in. In the video, I mentioned about socializing Mr. Brown, how important it is to have the chickens socialized. And what I was reading is, if you're going to have a chicken, it's better to have a hen than a rooster because they do like the one-on-one the -on -one contact with the people. But if you're going to have a chicken as a house pet, they say you should have at least three, not just one, because they need to have the one that's in charge, the lower. You have to have all, all of the categories, the higher, the one that's dominant, the, and the lowest, and then there's the middle person. But because I've got Mr. Brown and he's got lots of hens to talk to, even though he can't really be mixed with them. He's really up close. If you saw the fence line, I have the fence so that there's just a fence between them, which is very safe and she likes it a lot better because she doesn't feel threatened. And she laid an egg today in her little house. I think I mentioned that in the video. I'm not sure what I mentioned. I can't remember now. They also talked about why you should have backyard chickens. It can help you with depression, anxiety. It's, it's very helpful, good for your health. Studies have shown that they're very empathetic, chickens are. Do chickens have an emotional intelligence? Well, they find that they do. Have you ever seen a mama chicken where her babies have gone on the other side of a fence where they're not safe, where she can't get them? And she will be frantically squawking and trying to get their attention and get and she'll be going back and forth back and forth trying to get them to come back in because she's fearing for their life uh, something that i've experienced actually with with some of the mama hens the mm. buffs are extremely good mama hens they Very they good. they um will affect emma will stay with they usually stay with their babies about eight weeks and emma stays another week or two with her babies where silver She's a different bird of, of all birds. But she will stay with them for about five weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and then she's done with them. And then she flies over the fence, and if they want to follow her, they have to come over the fence and follow her. Which, one of the black ones was her, Rosie was one of hers, and she used to follow her over the fence. And the, that was the one that, one of the hens that, the buff stole the babies, and that buff was going frantic because she couldn't get over the fence. She's too heavy to fly over the fence. And she would be squawking like crazy trying to get the babies to come back, and Silver was kind of ignoring her because those were really Silver's babies, but the hen tried to steal them, which happens in real life with people, too. People have stolen other people's babies. It's not a good thing, but chickens do the same thing. So if you would like to have in, you reduce your anxiety and depression, have chickens. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. And we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.